Hey, what's up guys? Um, today I'm just going to give you a quick little tutorial on how to convert uh, video files from one format to another. Uh, for this tutorial I'm going to be using a software called ZillaSoft Video Converter Ultimate, which I have purchased. Um, I'm not going to be able to put a download link in the description. If you need a download, uh, you can probably get you a download link. So just send me a message and we'll see what we can work out. But uh, for right now, uh, the first thing you want to do is open up ZillaSoft, which is right here. Now ZillaSoft, in my experience, is the easiest, most user-friendly way to convert a video file from one format to another. So this is what I'm going to use. This is what I always use uh, for sneaky-media.com. I convert a lot of movies from large files to small files from one format to another making them iPod friendly, PSP friendly, stuff like that this is what I use every single time it's the best on the market it's, it, uh, it doesn't place watermarks or anything like that on your videos it's key so basically the first thing you want to do this button right up here is to add files to the uh, process queue so you're going to want to click that button and then navigate, I have a bunch of movies here, but I'm actually uh, going to navigate to a video I just downloaded. Um, right here. Alright, so you just open up the movie, and then for this one I'm going to be using uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, which I already own. For the record, I already own it, so uh, basically after you load the movie into Zillasoft, there's a couple different ways you can change the target profile for what um, what format you want the video to be in once it's converted. You can click right here, and it will bring up all the profiles. You have uh, general video, general audio, iPod, iPhone, Apple TV, Xbox, mobile phone, Windows Mobile, PMP, HD video, lossless audio, picture and animation, PSP, PS3, user defined, and then all the profiles. Um, I'm going to be converting this for PSP, so go into the PSP one, obviously, and there will be a, di a couple different formats that you can go with, uh, all of them being MPEG Layer 4, but you know you can do it excellent quality, minimal size, uh, regular video, and for this one I'm just going to select the top one, PSP MPEG 4 video, and you'll see here it'll give you the output size the output file will be 479 megabytes if that is too large if you'd like it to be smaller uh, you can click up here in tools it has a bitrate calculator you click on the bitrate calculator and you enter in like your desired file size like say you want the file to be 300 megabytes and it will reduce it this number is just like an estimate of how big the file will be once it's output uh, most of the time it will be you know, 10 to 15 megabytes smaller than what it out it says is the output size. Uh, so, or you can click over here the video quality and the audio quality. You can put them highest, higher, lower, normal, lowest, or use the bitrate calculator, obviously. Um, so just select these or use the bitrate calculator until you find a file size that you're comfortable with. And uh, once once you have a file size that you that you think you're comfortable with, uh, you can go ahead and either start to convert the video or you can customize the video a little bit. If you click up here, edit, and go down to the effect, it will bring up a couple different things that you can do. You can add subtitles. You can add a watermark, a text watermark, or a picture watermark. You can increase the brightness, the contrast, the saturation, all that stuff. I'm not going to be doing any of that for this video because I just want to convert it for myself. So once you have selected your profile, done any effects that you wish to do to the uh, to the video itself, you just click this record button up here, convert checked items. Make sure that your your title is checked over here. And once you click that record button, you'll see down here on the bottom it says completed zero percent and it will begin to convert the video for you. 
and it will give you you know how long it's going to take all that information will be contained at the bottom so that's about it see this video is going to take 38 minutes to convert which isn't too bad when you think about it but that's pretty much it you just have to wait for the video to finish converting and you will have a converted copy of whatever movie you'd like so uh, that's it for today guys make sure you check, uh, check out sneaky-media.com for all your movies PSP friendly, iPod friendly, all that good stuff, and sneaky-codes.tk, PSP homebrew, hacks, game codes, custom firmware, firmware updates, all that good stuff. It's one leader, signing out.